Hello, this is Mark Fleming with Database USA. I'd like to take a few minutes and walk you through the features of our desktop software available at coastguardinfo.com. Our software is a complete listing of the Coast Guard registered vessels as supplied to us by the Coast Guard. And we're, for this demonstration, we're going to be working with the third quarter of 2010. You can see that we've got over 327,000 records in this particular database. And I'll start by pointing out uh, some of the differences of our software. Uh, first of all, we take great pride in our data cleanup. As we get the data from the Coast Guard, a lot of the records aren't very usable for mailing purposes. Uh, we take a lot of time and care in CAS certifying as many records as we can with the post office to guarantee deliverable addresses. And this particular quarter, you can see we've CAS certified over 313,000 out of the entire database. Save you a lot of money in uh, return mail. And uh, with the software, you can quickly search and find vessels. I'll just demonstrate that for you here. Uh, just to go over the layout a bit here, you've got the owner information at the top, the vessel information down below and all of these activation keys with different features running along the bottom. To uh, search for a vessel, you just click on the button for new query, and our default field goes to CAS certified, because we want to make sure that it's deliverable. And we're going to search for a vessel name, we'll just do the time bandit. And you can combine fields before you actually commit to the search. We're going to look for commercial fishing vessels to narrow it down a bit. And you'll, this is a good time to point out that when you're in the find mode, you'll notice that the record or the screen goes blank, prompting you to enter the criteria you want to search by. But you also have an option here to include operators in the different fields. You can select any of these operators and enter them into any field. For instance, if I wanted to find a particular make vessel greater than or less than a particular year, just enter the symbols and type in the year. But for now, we're just going to search for the time bandit. So we'll go ahead and perform the search, or perform find. And there we go. We found the two records out of the entire database that quick. Our software is powered by FileMaker Pro, which means it's very fast, very responsive software. It allows us to do quite a few different things. Uh, down at the bottom, now that we've done a search, you can print a report of the current layout using this button right here and it'll print a report out that looks just like that. You can also print labels for mailing in a variety of different Avery formats. You can print an envelope to the particular found set. You can also build your own customized letter, mail merged with the address already. Room at the top for your company header and logo and room at the bottom for you to customize the body of the letter. You can also export the found group in a variety of different formats. Now this particular demonstration we're demonstrating on a Mac. All of these features work just the same on a PC. It's available both for PC and Macs. You can also sort by any of the fields. Just select the field you want to sort by and click sort. You can also view the information as a spreadsheet which you can modify. You can click and drag, change the order that the fields appear on the spreadsheet. You can also uh, cancel out of that and when you want to go back to uh, a layout or the home page, if there's no button on the screen to take you back home, you can use this layout pull down menu in the top left corner and select the appropriate layout. You can, uh, if the phone number is available at whitepages.com, you can click here to bring that up and get their phone number. Look up the MIC codes and visit different uh, marine industry links that we have available to get additional information on the vessels. And of course we have the help menu. It explains all of these features. 
and the buttons and what they do. And we've also included our out of documentation database. This is a list of all of the vessels that uh, were registered last quarter, but not this. We've also included registered, uh, newly registered vessels that uh, weren't registered last quarter, but are in this quarter. And let's see here, we'll go up to the top toolbar. Another way you can work with the software is to customize the toolbar across the top. Just right click and choose customize and you can click and drag some of these options up to the top. Not all of them will be available to you depending on the login password and permission set that go with your password, but you can customize that toolbar to suit your own needs, save you a few clicks. Works the same to remove it, just click and drag. It's pretty much the same on both PCs and Macs. And one of our newest, uh, biggest features that we're uh, debuting with this quarter is the mobile options. Now you can take the entire Coast Guard database with you on your iPhone or iPad. And let's see if we can bring up a window of what that data would look like. I'll open up one of the files real quick for demonstration purposes. And here we go. This is what it looked like on the iPhone, the owner information at the top, vessel information down below. And we've included the options that will allow you to enter notes while you're out in the field and even insert photographs. If you've got an iPhone with a camera, just tap into the field, snap a picture, and it'll put it right into those fields for you. You've got two photograph layouts. Now the beauty of this is that, uh, for example, if you're at a boat show, maybe you're, you're, you're a yacht broker at a boat show and you've got a number of vessels that you're interested in, uh, you can capture notes on those, tag them to be synced back to the desktop. So later in the day or in the week when you're back in town, you can import all of those changes, photographs and notes, back to this desktop version and then view them in the appropriate layout here. That way it gives you a chance to quickly and easily build a custom mailing list based on those records that you edited while you're out at that particular event. Again, custom build your own merge letter or build your own uh, label set for mass mailings to those, uh, to those records. Very powerful software. I think you're going to enjoy that. And that pretty much sums it up. If uh, you have any questions, please uh, feel free to get a hold of us. Uh, Frank Fleming at 603-764-5242 uh, or myself, Mark Fleming at 561-714-5240. Sorry, and you can also get more information at coastguardinfo.com. Thank you for your time.